take your money out of this bureaucracy. At my last reckoning, if you do it for everybody, you get about 40 bucks a year back that these accountants no longer get to distribute for you. Take those $40 and give them to whoever you want. Don't give them back to the koala. That's why you fill these forms out. Give them to the MQ, who were kind enough to give me the paper to write this speech. Give them to the Guardian. <laughs> write your own newspaper. Get 200 friends. For $800, you can out distribute the koala. But what needs to be admitted is there is already a mechanism in place for you to be refunded. We don't need to be talking about changing the laws for this mechanism. It's already there. If you care, get your money back. Now, what some of you are asking, however, is not for your money back. That's been said, but we already know you can get it back here and now. What's being asked is for this administrative body to be granted the authority to say who and who cannot be funded. So if that's what you're asking, you're not asking for your money back as an individual. You're asking for the right to decide where everybody's money goes. Is that what you want? Do you really trust them that much? I would argue 50 years ago, if you had asked a non-judicial non-Supreme Court administrative body such as this, to make that decision, they would have come down on a very negative ruling. And we would have missed a lot of positive changes. And if this council makes a decision here and now to give this body that power, it may be a year or it may be 10 years before somebody in a similar circumstance loses as well. So don't give the administration that power, just because they think you think they're on your side now. I've just described how you as an individual can exercise your right to not have your dollars go wherever you want. Do it. I don't like bureaucracy. I think they're glorified accountants. So exercise your will and your right to make a positive change. But don't ask for it to come from the top down, because that's never the answer. I'd ask you to all ask yourselves two questions. Do you believe that the positives that have come from free speech have ever come from authoritative bodies? I do not. And I also ask you to ask yourselves, if you pass this here and now in the name of what you believe today, can it and is it likely to be abused in a way that you did not perceive? And if you might say even maybe to either of those things, then please just do what you can as an individual to support what you believe. Don't ask laws to be changed. Thirty seconds. Support them. Thank you. Is this going to be the last speaker in public input? So any of us is supposed to represent a certain body, correct? Yes. Yeah. So um, in that, AS is supposed to make decisions that are representative of a student body, correct? Yeah. Yeah. So in that way, you see these students are telling you here, right now, today, have been telling you that we do not want our funds to go to the koala. So please make that democratic decision and do not fund the koala. Thank you. Okay. All in favor of extending time by an additional 15 minutes, please raise your hand. All opposed? Okay, that fails, 8 to 9. Okay, all in favor of extending time by 15 minutes, please stand up now. There's one speaker left, people. <laughs> all opposed? Okay, it passes 10 to 7. I'm sorry, the two third threshold to extend time. You can trust me, James. It's okay. <laughs> FOIA information, Farm Inter Advocate General, could you please? Yeah, it's Timber's threshold.
Okay, so it does actually fail. I'm sorry. Okay, so we will be moving on from public input. Wait. Uh, that also requires a two-thirds vote. I'm sorry. The vote has already been made. just took, which failed. Okay, then you see a path through the exit. to convince the council to take action in a certain way. Um, if you truly believe that anything that's being said here is influencing council members' decisions to take action, uh, then I encourage you to continue public input. If you feel like we should be better served by making a decision and continuing this product productive you know, dialogue in a different manner where everyone's not sitting around waiting for this bureaucratic meeting to finish, if, if we want to actually get things done, um, I encourage everyone to let the vote happen, let what happens happen, and go from there. Um, I really don't want to silence anyone. I just think that we'd be better off. There's there's almost 200 people in this room, and we need to move along. Do you want to do the vote then? Yeah. So the vote is very simple. If you'd like to continue public input, it requires a two-thirds vote. The vote is to allow public to speak. So just phrase it as that. Okay, the vote is to allow public to speak. To get on to the speaker's list. Exactly. To get onto the speaker's list. Because we're going to go to debate on this issue anyway. And if the public would like to debate the issue itself and not just speak to the council and, as a member of the public, <coughs> we can do that. And then Peter moved to overturn his decision. It was voted to That's reaching motion. Motion on the floor to overturn the decision of the speaker. Can we go to vote, please? No one really knows what's going on right now. Just a point of order. You are a horrible pair of government. It's terrible. It's terrible. But regardless, we can suspend the rules of the majority vote. Therefore, it's a different threshold to suspend the rules, which is why it's a different vote. Point of preservation? Sorry. I'm going to ask if there are questions here. Somebody told me that they updated the, the standing rules to take out the task for public input, and it has the annual time update yet. Is that true? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Jordan? With, with all due respect, Steve, the only thing we need to do is just, just have the motion to allow public to get on the speaker's list or not. That's the vote, and then we can move on to the speaker's list. All in favor of allowing public issue. I just want to make sure that if we're going with that, I want to make sure that. I'm going to bring up my motion again to suspend the rules for this. And, and from what Peter says, that takes only a majority vote. That's what we're doing. <laughs> That's what we're doing. We're having a vote. But the other vote takes two thirds. Uh, that, that, that's done. Okay. Right okay. now, the only motion is that allows public to get onto the speaker's list. So. All in favor of allowing the public to get on the speaker's list, please raise your hand now. Now we move on to normal business. Now we're on to normal business, which would be reports of members. Mm -hmm. 